Yeah. He, he, he says he want to say he said he was yeah. king no, of the Jews. He is the king of the Jews. You you wanna you wanna <laughs> you said that there can be no king other than Caesar. You said that. Come on. So if he's a king, then I can crucify. Him. Woo! <laughs> so Woo! he said he was a king because saying that ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. <laughs> but he has to be Woo! the king of you so that I can crucify him oh, based on what your accusations is. Woo! So what I have written, I have written. <laughs> I have written because what I've written was legal. Yeah. You try to, if you, if you talk about, I couldn't crucify him because he said he was king. Yeah. I had to crucify him because he is king. This one you'll love. You'll love this. You love all the scriptures anyway. But this one has a profound piece for anybody that, that will happen to come across this video and hear why we're saying this is so important to bear fruit. What, what we got here, brother? Matthew 7, 21. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. Yeah. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, mm. I never knew you. I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So many people are going to go before God that was taught to hate. And the sad thing I'm concerned about people that will run across this is some of us still doing it yeah. in some form or fashion, still manipulating things. That's when we get in trouble. You know, when we want to sit there and we create rules and then we break rules just for our own, you know, just for selfish benefit. It seems right because it may benefit somebody, but it's not right if it oppress somebody else. And we have rules and people break these rules, you know? And what God is saying is, I never knew you. And I think that's the whole point I want people to understand. He, who's what's more important, right? Is he knowing you. Stop trying to, that, I call it religious when you sit there and want to want man to know you. And yet you sit there and still call yourself a believer. But you don't bear the fruit of a believer. You go and do a lie for and call yourself a believer. You know what I mean? You, those, those are things you try to say. I'm trying to say, if people watch that stuff, you know that? That's what the world sees. He said in 35, remember that's talking about uh, John 13, 34, and 35. He said, men would know that you are my disciples for the love that you have for one another. Yeah. But if they don't see the love, what that mean? Is it opposite? I know Fred Price is going to call it a flip-flop, right? He'll flip, he'll flip it over, right? <laughs> so, so men won't know you because of the hate that you show to one another. Yeah. That's the reversal of it. And, and, and that's what we see in politics. Uh, even the fight for the abortion. You saw right now we got, and we'll close with that, right now you got is how many people uh, will be uh, uh, arrested female-wise? And, and if you're a system uh, in certain states, it, who wants those people to go to jail because they want to make a decision to do what they're doing? And what, what, what did it benefit the kingdom? When you do it that way, well, it, like I said, it, it has nothing to do. It doesn't with the kingdom. Right. Any form of government has nothing to do with the kingdom, and and you know what? I, I'm gonna say this <laughs> because it's always on my heart when I think about this. Uh, 
I have no understanding and no and, and, and can't fathom anyone who is who has been called to minister for our father to relinquish that and go into these political arenas. Now, people will say that it's good to have one of us in there, but you can't mix light and darkness together. They don't mix. They do not mix. No, no. So it, it, it really bothers me when that happens. Now, I'm not calling out no names, but I mean, people, you know, they know who I'm talking about. But it, 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 how can you go from representing the kingdom of God to representing the kingdom of Satan? Well, or put it away, kingdom of man, probably a better word. Well, no, it, the, the kingdom of Satan. <laughs> we got to get to the bottom root. I mean, you can't go from God to man. We're going from the root to the root. So it's the kingdom of Satan. If it's government, it's the kingdom of Satan. I think, you know, only reversal I would say on that is that, I, I would, and I think you agree that all the believers, operating in this system has to deal with the operating within a system putting themselves in a compromise scenario you know what i mean uh, i mean put it this way you, you know, a believer has to go to work in a workforce and sometimes that workforce could be very disruptive and corrupted right mm -hmm. uh, but they gotta go there anyway. They gotta they gotta be in there. And they gotta represent the kingdom because all of us say we're all ambassadors, right? We all are ambassadors mm -hmm. for Christ. I I am I'm saying is this what I wanna say, Bob Line, is this this that's that's the challenges of every believer to be able to operate and be in this world, but not of this world, <laughs> and has to deal with. Your, the different compromises or what political posturing that people have. I'm not talking about just politics, you know, I'm just saying it's not just politics too, right? I'm just saying it's just in this world, you got the compromise, like you're a police officer, right? Some of those police officers that are Christians, believers, are living in a world where there's people who don't believe but enforcing the law or have different philosophies of, of life. Uh, I had a, uh, I had a, I had a question. Somebody, you ever heard somebody say, what did God say dealing with a, uh, uh, your career when you was in the career, when you was in the military? What did God say opposed to what did you do when it's maybe evaluation on somebody, uh, whether it was the assignment itself, uh, and 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 maybe it was working your people like you. You probably had some people work overtime. You know they weren't with their military anyway, so you say ain't no overtime for them. No overtime. <laughs> but you know you should <laughs> get. <laughs> but you know you said you know those people needed a break. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't a part of the job description. Ah, you see, what I'm saying, <laughs> but right, it, it was a it was a system, and yet the compassion would have been different. But you said, "There's no, we gotta get this. Um, you know, we gotta get this aircraft out of here, right?" <laughs> and I don't care what y'all gonna do, hook or crook, we're gonna get this aircraft out of here, <laughs> and we're gonna get it out of here safely too. So we're gonna make sure we get it right. But sometimes you push people beyond the, uh, you don't know, be laughing because it's true, right? No, I did my job. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a test. <laughs> so you hear what I'm saying, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. no. <laughs> you can't compare the two. 
<laughs> the two are two different things. <laughs> Government, po po politics, make that and work are two different things. I think I think the concern I have, is, and and then you can correct me wrong, is the concern I have is that the uh, do I leave it up to the corrupt people? Do, do, I, do I rather have somebody in there? I'm, I'm talking across I, the board. No, I can answer that right off of what? Right, I mean, easy. It, no matter what you say, you leave it up to God. So if, if God puts somebody in there, right, you got to, we have to, maybe God needs look, something. Look at Pharaoh. God allowed him to be in existence in that position for a reason. God exalt these people to these positions for a purpose. For a purpose. So, but, I mean, it's a challenge. I, could, I, I, I totally got where you're coming from, especially trying to say that your calling is to, to no kidding, do this, right? Yeah. No to, kidding. To, to, to exalt the kingdom of God. Yeah. And then you get into you, you, politics. You change, you, you change sides. You, well, you get into you that. Size. In other words, you can't <laughs> be led by the spirit of God because there's so many compromises that you have to do in that system. Well, Judas Judas went after Mammon. He did, didn't he? He did, and right? See what happened to him? So <laughs> he did, right? Because it probably we we can see his problems. He was because he felt bad for what he did. Yeah. So he thought he was trying to use this, trying to get people to understand this is the Messiah. Y'all, if y'all heard him, maybe y'all would agree with what I'm saying. So I'm gonna betray him. In order for him to be in front of you all. Yeah, well, I don't know about all that. I don't know. I, I can't. I, I haven't really. Uh, he came to the temple. He went back to the temple. Oh, I'll yeah. use my facts. He yeah. went to the temple and said, oh. I have betrayed innocent blood. Yeah. So in other words, he knew he Christ was innocent. He didn't turn him in for, he really didn't turn him in for conviction. No, he turned him in. They, they, they said. To, in my mind, and from what I read, they wanted to know where he was. <laughs> they did. And so he's like, we'll give you this if you just tell him where he's going to be when he's alone. And, and look, look, on top of that, we would give him a fair trial. Yeah. <laughs> we would have him an opportunity to say his piece. And if his piece lines up, then we'll do it. We'll accept it. But they didn't. They, that's what I'm saying. I think it was some politics that was happening. Thank you know, the you. Go right back to politics, which is my first statement. Know, remember, <laughs> you remember Pontius Pilate? In in the kingdom of God, they, they do not mix. It did. Well, you that know, was it, the problem with the Pharisees, right? Well, it, I was saying it, it I became go, politics. <laughs> and uh, I would go with the politics on the day that. The sentence was made to crucify him. Pontius Pilate, he knew, the Bible said it, he knew that they were envious of him, didn't they? Yeah. And his political positioning was, if I can get them to take responsibility for this, then I can wash my hands of this matter. Well, his his position was to keep his position. He was. Because when they threatened his position by going to uh, Caesar, Caesar, then he began to fulfill their wishes. <laughs> exactly. There's politics right there. There's politics. He said, he said, I don't see nothing wrong with this man. I'll go ahead and chastise him for y'all. And if y'all see him chastised, y'all should feel like he got enough. As long as he doesn't take his life, he was okay. He was in his right to do what he was doing. Exactly. But it was it was it was the politics of those who were supposed to be children of God. Yeah. Yeah. That he, was politics. Exactly. So like I said, you can't mix <laughs> politics with the kingdom of heaven or you get crucified. <laughs> you get and look, look, and look at this. He even symbolically washed his hands. Yeah. To say, look, guys, this is not going to be on me. And they said, at least in John, right? They said, no. They, they said in John, 
not the other ones. But John, he said, let the blood be on our hands. Yeah. And on our children. Yeah. Interesting, ain't it? And Pontius Pilate said, well, I, I guess I... I, yeah, I, I can do that. I can let that. I can let that. Since you said that, yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah, you remember, you remember, remember his wife came and said, "Don't, don't let the." Yeah, you, yeah. He had a vision. Don't, don't do this. Yeah, yeah. I don't want distance yourself from it. Yeah, distance yourself from the decision, and that's exactly what he did. And then the audacity, because he's still trying to do his job. He. He brought, he wrote the sentence up because he yep. had to do a charge, right? Yep. You have to have a charge for crucifying somebody. Yeah. And he wrote the charge down. What he remember that? What you remember what he did? What did he say? King of the Jews. He <laughs> said that this man said that he was the king of the Jews. <laughs> <laughs> did he say? I, I think that's what they wanted him to say, right? They were saying. Oh, they didn't want him to say that. I thought they said. He said king of the Jews. I thought the charge was king of the Jews. Yeah, that's what I said. Right, but I'm saying the, the Pharisees are the one that said, no, write this. Yeah. He said he's the king yeah. of Yeah, yeah. See my point? They, they, it was political even up to the, the crucifixion. Yeah. The charge was king of the Jews. Yeah. These the the Pharisees want to say he said he was. Yeah. King of the Jews. He is the king of the Jews. You you wanna you wanna you said that there can be no king other than Caesar. You said that. Come on. So if he's a king, then I can crucify. Him. Woo. So Woo. he said he was a king because saying that ain't nothing. Ain't nothing. <laughs> but he has to be Woo. the king of you so that I can crucify him. Oh, based on what your accusations is. Woo. So what I have written, I have written. I have written because what I've written was legal. Yeah. You try to if you if you talk about I couldn't crucify him because he said he was king. Yeah. I had to crucify him because he is the king.